Aiden is you know, just like just going along with me. Uh, he's throwing the ball well. He's, he's speaking vocal. Uh, so we're, we're all trying to get better as uh, as spring goes along. And I think we're uh, progressing that. Give me an example of how something that happened in the first couple of days of spring where you say, okay, I'm a lot better off. I couldn't have done this last year. Now I can do it. I think that uh, just speaking to my teammates, because uh, I didn't really know anybody. I didn't got here. Uh, but I think just talking to them and getting to know them better. Uh, I can talk to them on a, on a football level and on a personal level. How much contact have you had with Coach Cameron kind of during the offseason? You know, uh, I'll come pretty much up here uh, six days a week. Um, so just trying to talk to him and get what he knows and try to get that in my in my arsenal uh, to, to play play quarterback and to play at a, at a high level. What's kind of been his main focus with you uh, these past few months? I think just becoming smarter, um, smarter in the game, football IQ. Um, just, just knowing what I have to do to get better. He's been trying to teach me things to, you know, be better than I was before. How, how much more confident do you feel? How much more confident are you? Oh, I'm, I'm a lot more confident. Um, you know, I'm just because I've been I've been in the system for a year. Uh, I feel confident in the plays we're running uh, and the things we're doing in the in the leadership role. Um, not saying that I'm the, I'm the leader like Kenny Hill or Lyle Collins, but I'm uh, rapidly uh, increasing my you know, IQ and. Just trying to get better. You feel the team following you when you're breaking the huddle with them and oh, team yeah, drills? Definitely more like uh, last year I was kind of like shaky, didn't know what to call it in the huddle now, I'm confident and uh, speaking up. What about, talk about your development in the passing, what do you need to do better there? You know, oh, I know you, your yeah. legs, you can extend plays. Yeah, I extend plays with my legs. I'm not, I'm not worried about that. Just uh, becoming more, more accurate and, uh, you know, doing the reads, learning the defense so I know where to go with the ball. But I have no, I mean, I know that I can throw the ball um, with the best of them. So uh, it's, just, it's just a matter of showing it. Have you ever discussed with Coach Cameron or anyone about maybe not running as much, kind of sticking still in the pocket a little bit more? I mean, yeah, I mean, I didn't really run that much in the bowl game. So, you know, just standing in the pocket, knowing where to sit, where to move, where to step up in the pocket, those things are going to come with the time. So. Maverick always talks about how Cameron would kind of compare him to Joe Flacco. Obviously, that was the guy he worked with up in Baltimore. Has he compared you to any former quarterback? I mean, yeah, he's, he's called Tyrod Taylor, uh, Antoine Renanel, those kind of those kind of guys. So he said those kind of guys kind of remind me, uh, kind of remind him of uh, those two. So uh, I guess those are Good, good comparison. They've been in the NFL for a while. So. Do you think you kind of fit those roles? Uh, I, I guess so. I mean, Tyler Taylor can throw the ball with the best of them. So he said uh, Tyler Taylor's a great quarterback. Antoine Miller is a great quarterback. So uh, I, I, I would like those players. After having kind of the instant success at Arkansas, was it something of a humbling experience in the bowl game? The yeah, struggle? Uh, you know, but I, I always knew that if you if you win the game and you do well, uh, quarterback position, they're gonna they're gonna praise you. Uh, if you don't do well, they're gonna you know, blame it all on you. So uh, it's, just kind of, it's just a matter of um, just sticking in and kind of don't get too high, don't get too low. Did Zach have any advice for you on his way out about leading this team? Oh, uh, yeah. He, I mean, I'm still talking to him pretty much uh, every week, uh, just seeing how things going and uh, doing those things. But uh, he, just, he just said, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a grind. Coming LSU quarterback is one of the most prestigious positions in, in all of college football. So you got to do the right thing even when nobody's looking. What do you got to do to 